Hey folks, welcome to yet another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg, and if you're new here, thank you for coming here and checking out this channel. And if you would like to, please consider subscribing. That helps this channel out quite a bit. And with that said, let's get into today's video. So as of expected, we have heard reports that the Washington Commanders will try to see if they can offer a trade for Deshaun Watson. No surprise, of course. Certainly all depends on the legal issues that Deshaun Watson has been facing, but assuming that Deshaun Watson can get cleared of any legal issues, Washington is going to go full force. Now, I said in a previous video that <clears throat> I think there's limited amount of time that Washington is going to try to go for Deshaun Watson. I think that you can't go all in on him knowing that things are still up in the air because if you take the chance and you give him or you give the Texans, let's say, three number one or three first round draft picks and a player, you know, and then all of a sudden, oh, he's guilty of all charges and, you know, he's going to spend some time in jail or, or whatever the case is, you have really sunk your team. And who knows, maybe he doesn't even make it back to the NFL at that point. I would say that you definitely are <clears throat> extremely interested in Sean Watson, but you don't, you, you don't just leave it open-ended. You give it a certain amount of time. There's a time limit. If things are not done by this time, you have to move on because if you're really that desperate for a quarterback, then you have to move quickly on any other quarterback that is going to be ready. I have a feeling what's going to happen, and I've, I've repeated this several times in other videos. You can go back and watch those videos as well. Washington strikes out on any of these trades or free agent quarterbacks, any of these guys like that, most definitely they're going to draft a quarterback in the first round and then they're going to hope that this quarterback this year, this rookie, can start because a lot of fans are going to be kind of disappointed. As much as that we love Taylor Heineke, we're going to be disappointed if he's the week one starter because that's going to tell us that Washington just failed to get a franchise quarterback. And so, even though that we would be starting a rookie quarterback, which historically for us has not been very good, um, despite RG3, he has been probably the best rookie quarterback we have ever had. However, I really do think that Deshaun Watson is a very big prospect for, for, Washington, for Washington. And honestly, um, I think that he would want to come to Washington, um, but remains to be seen. I think that his legalities are going to have to be cleared up ASAP because I, I really don't think that Washington is going to sit around and wait around forever. As needy as they are at quarterback, they're going to try to find somebody as soon as possible. And I'm not really so certain that the door is shut on Russell Wilson just yet. Even though we've heard reports that Seattle is not interested in trading Russell Wilson, they may not be interested in trading for Russell Wilson for what Washington had initially offered Seattle. But that doesn't necessarily mean the door is closed on that. They could still be negotiating for all we know. Uh, none of these teams are going to outright tell you everything that's going on. They're not going to give you every single detail. They may give you, yeah, we're offering a whole lot for this player. You know, we may even tell you, yeah, we're offering a player. We're not going to tell you which one. But I'm not so certain that things have been closed and that it's all final that Russell Wilson is going to be a Seahawk next year. So things could still be working in the background, in the process for that. But I think also things are also working with the Texans for Deshaun Watson. 
Washington's going to be interested in them. I think those are the top two guys. You know, the only guy that I have not really heard much about has been Aaron Rodgers, and I think Aaron Rodgers, honestly, he's the one who's going to decide where he goes. And right now, I don't think that if it's not the Packers, I don't think Aaron Rodgers is at all interested in Washington. I think he's probably already made the case that if it's not uh, the Packers, it's probably going to be an AFC team, probably be some place like Denver, I would assume, is where he would want to go. Other than that, um, I don't, you know, I've not heard any ties to Washington for Aaron Rodgers. And quite, quite frankly, although Aaron Rodgers to me is going to be a future Hall of Famer, I don't see him as de definitely being a long, long-term solution because, I mean, he's much older than someone like Russell Wilson. Wilson has five more years left. I mean, that's a long time for me. That's a long time in the NFL. That's five years. Um, you could definitely win at least a Super Bowl within those five years. So Russell Wilson, he doesn't, or I should say Aaron Rodgers, I think he's, what, 39, 38? Somewhere around there. He, he, he doesn't have as long. Even if he does decide to play in well into his, his 40s, I mean, you know, is going to be able to play at a high level. Um, so, all that being said, Deshaun Watson is definitely on the list. He's definitely going to be pursued by the Washington Commanders. And I would say that if things are completely closed up with Russell Wilson, then Deshaun Watson is definitely going to be the next guy on the list. I did say Deshaun Watson, right? I don't know. I haven't had caffeine in like over a month. Let me know your thoughts, folks. What do you think? Deshaun Watson, yay, nay. I think you get a Deshaun Watson if he's cleared of all legalities, man. I mean, you're getting a great quarterback. But, you know, the only thing that does concern me, he's been out for a year. Um, it, will, it will take him a little bit to kind of get back into – the, the flow of the NFL, a year I'm not too worried about, but if it goes into two years, there's going to be a concern. So let's see how it all works out. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the Washington Football Maniacs channel. Also, I have a Patreon page as well. You can visit those links on my YouTube channel. And with all that said, let's go Maniacs. Um, hell to the commanders.